I'm Nick and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to do a project that I've been waiting to do for a while now and it's finally going to happen. I'm going to make an Eames stool. So Eames is a uh, couple, Ray and Charles Eames. They've done a lot of mid-century modern stuff. They teamed up with Herman Miller, made some of the most iconic chairs. And today I'm going to do one of their stools. In front of me I have a bunch of black walnut that I got and it should all be enough for one of these stools and I'm gonna mill it down and see what I have and some of this stuff is pretty bowed and I'll be making that. So for some background of what I'm actually gonna make uh, this is the Herman Miller website and you can still buy these stools on their site. The shape that I'm gonna go for is known as the C shape. It's the one in the middle it has more of, in my opinion, like a spindle turned shape, like a candlestick, something like that. Um, but yeah, the website has a lot of good information. They even go into some of the history. They even have some of the original plans on the website. So if you're interested, check out the Herman Mill website or just Google Eames Stool and you'll find a plethora of information about these. So to give myself something to work towards. I took the drawings and stuff from the website and from what I could figure out of like from pictures and I drew up a diagram in my notebook here with all the sizes and everything that I need to turn to. And with the planning work done, let's start planning some wood. So planning creates a lot of chips and I don't have a two-stage dust collector. So instead of doing a side project where I build one, I'm at the local maker space using theirs. About a week before I started this project, the Makerspace, their planner uh, went down, the motor went. And you can actually see the DeWalt in the background torn apart uh, while they were figuring out what's wrong with it. So my planner became the uh, shop's planner while they sourced a new one. But while I was working on my wood, I noticed that it was causing a warp in the wood. So did a full service on the machine, rotated the blades, and I checked the bed, and now it's all cutting straight for nice flat glue joints. Between fighting with the machine and milling all this wood down, this step took me several hours. But as you can see here, the results turned out great. With all the wood flat, the next step was to figure out which piece became which part of the stool. So I examined each part of the wood, figuring out where would it fit the best for its size, referencing the photo I had with all the uh, dimensions on it on my phone. And I figured out which part became the top and the bottom, and I worked on the center core. Yep. Once I had the top and the bottom figured out, I focused on the center core. This was uh, actually really difficult. I had a bunch of wood that were slightly different sizes and it was basically a jigsaw puzzle where I had to figure out how to fit it all together with no instructions and none of the edges fit. So after a bunch of thinking of different ways to do it, I came up with a plan and started cutting wood and taping it together. Once I had it all cut up and 
fitted together, I taped it up so I could take it home in one piece and glue it up in my shop. The one thing I wanted to show you guys is this makerspace doesn't have a bandsaw that has like the normal big fence like my Laguna at home. They have this smaller bandsaw and to do resawing they have a point fence available. And I don't know if you ever used one of these before, they're pretty slick. Basically it's just a point that you pivot the wood on and you set it up so that it's the width you want to cut and you just kind of push the wood through, turning it ever so slightly to keep the blade on the line and you end up with a pretty accurate resawed piece of wood. I should also note that this is the first time I've ever used one of these point fences and it turned out really well. So I got all my wood here. It is pretty much square, it's flat, and I taped it together because there's an order to how all these pieces are milled basically to glue up into the final shape. And this is what it looks like. It's gonna be big. This is gonna push the limit of the lathe, which is just gonna be fun. But next step is pulls apart, undo the tape, glue it back together, and then start turning. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is big. So the way I'm building the stool is I'm gonna have a top and a bottom and then the center core. The top and the bottom are just three pieces sandwiched together and that's just going to be mounted side grain and this is going to be mounted spindle and this was the difficult part to figure out how to glue up because I needed something that was eight by eight for this outside bead and then the inside bead that's in the center is only like six so that's what this core is for and the difficulty was figuring out which piece goes where and I had to build this center core here to make it all happen. Cue the glue montage. At least it landed glue side up. So this has been a complicated glue up. A lot of just figuring out how things go together, a lot of milling, a lot of just waiting around for literally glue to dry. But I'm gonna have to end the video here, unfortunately. This is gonna be a two-parter. This has just taken a lot of time and to get the video out in time, I have to cut it short. But next video, I'm gonna get this on the lathe. Right now, this is three separate pieces where uh, I'm gonna cut a mortise here in the lathe and a 10 in here and I'll do that last glue up on the lathe and we'll be turning. So, as always, thanks for watching and have fun.